We got some drama, drama, drama at Pocono. Not only do we have a controversy with the NASCAR officials not waving the caution as soon as Ryan Priest spun out, uh, Austin Dillon being very upset at Tyler Reddick, and then obviously uh, the Denny Hamlin move on Kyle Larson and the words uh, between those two. But we also had Ryan Priest and Corey LaJoy, and we now have an explanation as to why Ryan Priest indeed did spin out at the end of the race. And it looks like Corey LaJoy just took him out. But before we get to that, I want to show you this. This is over on the NASCAR YouTube channel. Ryan Priest got out of his car and decided to stick his head inside Corey LaJoy and give him a piece of his mind. It's unclear whether or not he actually throws a punch or he kind of just like shakes him a little bit, but he definitely uh, cursed him out and had some choice words for Corey LaJoy. So you can see uh, Priest's head is kind of right there, uh, popping out of his car. We're looking, I think, from Corey LaJoy's in-car camera. So let's take a look at this here. You can see Priest is mad, mad, mad. He's running to the car. So that's pretty much how it ends. You can hear that he had a lot of uh, profanity there. It didn't look like he was actually punching or anything. It might have just been like maybe grabbed him by the jersey or the or the the, tra uh, the fire suit and was kind of shaking shaking him up a little bit. Maybe had him by the shoulders or something like that. Uh, I didn't really see any punches. Maybe it could have been maybe like a hockey style punch where you grab the guy's jersey and you're kind of jabbing jabbing him in the um in the chin as you got the, like the the piece of his jersey or you're like going like this like that right. Um, but it looked like he might have just been shaking him up. But let's look at why uh, Priest was so upset. And I think he has a reason for being upset, given the fact that uh, I think Corey LaJoy clearly took him out at the end of the race and basically made t ended Priest's day, put him at the um, rear of the field. So here's the in-car cameras from Ryan Priest and Corey LaJoy. I think Priest will be on the top. Corey LaJoy will be on the bottom. So let's take a look at this. I'm going to mute the sound here real quick. Yeah, Priest on top, LaJoy on the bottom. And I think Priest is in the top lane as well. You can see him right there next to the wall going into the turn. LaJoy just runs up the track, spins him out, and that's the end of that. I mean, just, just looks like he took him out and spun him out for no good reason. So I think Priest definitely has reason to be upset. But uh, that is the latest drama from Pocono. It'll be interesting to see whether or not NASCAR issues any fines coming out of Pocono. I definitely think we might see some fines, maybe from Kyle Larson, given the fact that he hit Hamlin under caution. We might see some fines towards Ryan Priest here for confronting Corey LaJoy. Uh, it will be very interesting to see whether or not we might see stuff going at, um, at Hamlin. I, I doubt it. Uh, or even LaJoy, or maybe maybe we see something uh, with Austin Dillon for his helmet toss at Tyler Reddick. NASCAR has been trying to basically keep a lot of those shenanigans from not happening uh, and has been very heavy-handed on the discipline. So we'll see what happens and what they do uh, following this uh, crazy wild race at Pocono where tempers were definitely flared.